everybody. Let's try an example solving for the step response of an RC circuit. So let's take a look. When the switch is here for a long time, what's happening? So the voltage here is going to be constant. And then the current, uh, the displacement current for a capacitor is like this. And if the voltage is constant, dV dt is zero, which means the current here is zero. So it's behaving like an open circuit. That means all the current from this source goes this way. The capacitor is not taking any of the current. So that means we can solve for the voltage here across the 60k resistor, which is in parallel with the capacitor. So if we want the voltage of the capacitor, then right these are in parallel. So what's the voltage? Let me jot down what I'm saying, right? So the voltage for the capacitor is the same as the voltage across the 60k resistor. And then if you look at this, it is a voltage divider. Okay, so it's 40 volts times 60 over 60 plus 20. Okay, so that's 60 over 80, that's 3 fourth, so 30 volts. Okay, so when the switch is here, the voltage across the capacitor is 30 volts. And then you know that the voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously, right? You would need to have infinity current for the voltage to change instantaneously. So when we hit the switch, it's going to be 30 volts immediately after we move the switch. Okay, so now when we're over here, then we know that the voltage across the capacitor is 30 volts. What is the voltage as a function of time? We can use the formula we derived in the previous video right here assuming the circuit looks like this, which it totally does not. So what we'd like to do is see how this is a, it could be a Norton equivalent, which is what I was mentioning before. It's convenient if we can express this as a Norton equivalent circuit. Okay, so you can follow along the example in the book, and then it goes, it solves for the open circuit voltage here, and then it deactivates this source and solves for the equivalent resistance to get the Thevenin equivalent voltage, and then the Thevenin equivalent resistance, and then you do one source transformation. So let's try another way, just so that you can see a different way. Let's just do source transformations. So you see right here, we can turn that into just a resistor and a current source in parallel instead of a resistor and a voltage source in series. So this stays the same, but then the current will be V over R, so 75 over 40k, whatever that is. Let me punch that in the calculator. Okay, all right. Now we can do, well, we're here. Let's combine those in parallel. Okay, so 8, 160, and 40, 160, 40, so that's 4 over 160, so 5 over 160, take the reciprocal. So 160 over 5, which is 3, 2, 32K, all right? Okay, so then combine those in parallel. All right, now it looks like this. So we can do one more source transformation right here. We can turn that into... series, so 32k goes over here, and this is going to be a voltage source, 
which is IR, that times that. So let me punch that in the calculator. Okay, oh, that's 60 volts, all right. And then we can combine these together. I'm just gonna do that right now. 32 and eight becomes 40. Okay, and then one last source transformation. So that's gonna be 40K and current source I V over R 60 over 40, 1.5. Okay, so the Norton equivalent of this is just this. And then that was connected to our capacitor, the 0.25 microfarad capacitor. And now it totally looks like this. I mean, we just have to rearrange a little bit. Just let me just rearrange it a little bit. 1.5 milliamp source, 40K resistor, and our 0.25 microfarad capacitor. See, now, now it looks exactly like this. So it's fair game to just use this formula. So you just plug in the numbers. And then if you want the current, how did we get this? This came from the current, the displacement current for capacitor is C dV dt. So it's C times the derivative of this. And then that simplified to this. All right, so then you just plug in the numbers. Okay, and then the values you use, this was, uh, this was 40 volts, and then the current, uh, just be careful. Take a look at this, take a look at this. It will be negative 1.5 milliamps. And then R was 40K. Okay, so that's V minus IR. E to the minus one over RC, so R is 40K. C is 0.25 microfarads. So just be mindful of the units, right? 40 times 10 to the three, and then 0.25 times 10 to the minus six. So just be careful. Okay, and then plus IR, and then, which is right here. Okay, so give this a try. It mostly ended up being doing a Norton equivalent circuit here. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions and then keep on practicing. I'll see you in the next video.